What's going on, people? <clears throat> Hope you guys' day is going well. Hey, I'm on here for a quick few minutes. Uh, I know many of you guys saw me posting a lot of posts this morning, right? About God and what he's trying to get us, our people to see what's going to happen. But this did just sit in my spirit. Um, and just to give you guys an understanding of where I'm at. I do understand why we are angry. And I don't blame people because we have been treated so unfairly in this country like never before. We deserve justice. We deserve a better life. We deserve rights. We deserve to be treated fairly. I agree. But the one thing that I want people to understand is that living this life of God, life will seem unfair. Always. It's always going to seem unfair. Just remember that. And remember, the vengeance is not yours. The vengeance is God's. And this leads me into what God will place in my spirit to give to you guys. That's why I kept saying, keep watching. Keep your eyes open. Meditate. Go in your closet. Pray to God. Seek understanding. Seek the time so you can know what is coming forth to us. And this is just setting the stage of something worse, y'all. I'm telling you, it's setting the stage. But the only way you're going to win this battle, if you give your life over to God at this moment, I'm telling you, God is, is, is doing, he's going to do some amazing things through us, in us. But we got to become humble and listen to God. So this is what God's put in my spirit. And I'm speaking in this from as a as a nation, as a, as the world, not just Georgia, the United States, but for the world. These people are send the stage up, meaning the elite that send the stage for the Antichrist to come. Look what's happening. We in emotions, right? We're, we're upset, which we have every reason to be right. We in COVID. We're in a pandemic. People are looking for a savior to come save us from all of this. People are looking for a a a a vaccine to heal these people who have who are sick or who are going to get sick in the future from COVID-19. They're setting the stage. A lot of this stuff that's going on, they are setting it up. It's not even our people that's doing most of this looting. It's not even our people that who are burning down buildings, burning cars. Doing all this crazy stuff. It's not even us. But we got to be smarter and brighter to understand the big picture. We have to take ourselves out of what we see in front of us, right? And look at the big picture. But the only way you're going to see the big picture, if you sit back, analyze, meditate, go to God, ask him. He's waiting for you to call on to him right now. He's waiting. And he's going to answer your prayers even more in this hour because it's needed he wants all of us to come together to plan, to implement, to strategize. Yes, be angry, but do it in a constructive way, a productive way. And how we're doing it now is not productive. It's not. They are setting the stage for the Antichrist to come into this world. And he's going to come from a place you're not expecting. And he's going to. He's going to fool so many people because he's going to bring peace into this world. That's what we think is going to be called peace. But he's doing it just to prolong time for a greater effect to come in this world. And God is preparing us for that time. And we have to understand what is happening. So listen, guys, listen. This morning I was pleading. I was praying. I was crying for our people to get understanding on what God is showing me. And it hurts me to the heart to know that we don't even see the big picture. There's so much more going on. Trump is not going to save us. The Antichrist is not going to save us. There's no man in this earth is not going to save us from what's to come. And the only source is from God himself. And we got to find him. And within him, within finding him, there's provision. There's guidance. There's healing. There's protection. There's so much more he has in store for us. 
and we're not recognizing it because we're allowing our emotions to run us away from his glory. And this is not the time to do it. This is the time that we come together, we build together, we plan together, we help each other because there's coming a day that we going to need each other in order to survive. We got to understand the times, y'all. I'm not here to hurt feelings. I'm just here to bring clarity amongst the situation. 2020 is the year of perfect vision. It don't seem like it, but God has awakened many people up for this hour so we can come together, so we can implement, we can plan, we can mobilize, we can strategize. I know you heard this before from Killer Mike, but I'm telling you, God has given me the same word for what we need to do in this hour. Humble yourselves, sit back, plan. And this is the time we need to come together with our money. This is the time we need to come together to build, to teach our people how to become successful in this world that we're coming in. And we need all our people to be alive to do this. We got to come together. We got to march together. There's nothing wrong with going out here and protesting and doing it peacefully because there is change in that. And I'm not saying not to do that. I'm all for it. But what I'm not all for is for us to be get put up and set up and staged as if we're the ones causing this problem and we're not. Watch your surroundings. Don't fall for the foolery. Look at your surroundings. Now, I'm not saying some of us are doing this stuff, but for the majority, we're not. We're honestly going out here, want to make a change by protesting and doing it peacefully, right? To get our voices heard. And they are hearing our voices. Trust me. But you got to understand the spiritual setup that is happening. God wants his brain. His, he wants to bring his spirit amongst his world. And he will. The Bible speaks of these days and the Bible is going to have these prophecies. They are going to be fulfilled. There's nothing we going, that we can do to stop this. All we can do is prepare, prepare, prepare for what's coming. Because without preparation, there's no movement. There's nothing new that's going to come out of it without preparing ourselves. And we need to prepare with our minds, with the people who have God has connected us with to help us. And listen, I'm for to go. I'm for to get off this this video. This is very, it, it's it's just it's just it's sad to see what our world has become. But guess what? God is setting it up too, for a stage for His own glory to be, to be professed around this world. Trust me, God's for to do some mighty stuff in this hour. God's spirit is for to go across this nation like never before. And some people are going to be sitting here like, why didn't I listen to what God was telling me? Why I didn't start this business because God told me to do it. Why I'm hesitating. Why I'm doubting. Why, why, why? Listen, God is speaking even better now, even more. He's doing it. But we got to sit here and just sit back and let God do the things that we cannot do. We have limitations on what we can do in this world. But God has no limits on what he can do. He created us. He created this world. You think all these people who are empowered is doing this to us? God didn't allow them to be there. Yes, it's part of his plan. And we got to understand. So I'm tuning out, y'all. And I'm just going to be transparent now. This is going to be a topic of discussion on our next episode of the Revealed Podcast. So tune in. It's going to be powerful. And I'm going to give you guys some good foundational things on how you're going to get out of this and how you're going to find peace in this. We can't fight for peace. We can't bring darkness into darkness in, in order to heal stuff. We got to bring the light into darkness. That's what takes over the matter. Not being dark and implementing crazy behavior. That's not going to fix nothing. I'm only saying this because I love you guys. I dearly, I do from the bottom of my heart. Lord, I've been outpouring for y'all. I've been praying. I've been praying. I've been praying for this nation. I've been praying for everyone. And we will get through this. Trust me, we will. But God is allowing this to happen to awaken us, to open our eyes to the reality of the world. The devil is setting his stage and God is setting his stage. It's going to be even bigger. So get ready. It's time to fight, but we're going to fight here, not with ease. All right. I love you guys.